Christie. Christie called to an unusual scene in Flower Bluff this afternoon. A big HEB semi truck somehow got swallowed up by a gaping sinkhole. We're told the delivery truck was turning onto Waldron Road when that road simply gave way. Our Madeline Dart joins us live from the scene right now to show us what's happening there. Maddie. Yeah, Joe, so in the hour and a half that I've been out here, Apollo Towing has been on scene and they actually brought in a third party to hire a crane to actually come in and haul up that truck. So now they're actually getting into place right now to tow that truck away. You can see the uh, tow truck just going underneath the cab to lift it up and hopefully get it out. Now I spoke to Apollo Towing and they said this is just another day at the job for these guys. They have been working so hard and diligently to get that truck out of the ditch and here's a closer look at what happened earlier today. We're told that that HEB truck was turning here on the Waldron near Compton right by HEB when it came into a sinkhole. Now I, I spoke to somebody who works nearby and they said before this semi truck came through another truck came through actually hitting a fire hydrant and then bursting it and that water piling up right in that intersection and they said that they then saw this HEB truck come through and fall right into that sinkhole. Of course, crews had to clear up all of that water first. Apollo Towing said that there was a little bit of a gas and water line, obviously, issue that they had to clear up also. And so Apollo has been here for hours on end to uh, haul this truck out of here. And another, another uh, issue that they faced was that the truck is loaded and it's very heavy, of course. So they had to make sure that they had the proper equipment to get that truck out. And after speaking to Apollo, he hopes that they should be done within the next hour or two. So if you're in the area, make sure you pay attention to all the roadblocks by Compton and Waldron. For now, reporting live from Flower Bluff, Madeline Dart, 3 News. Joe, Leslie. All right, Madeline, thank you. I just want to check with you. So the truck is out of the hole now or is it still kind of in there? Yes, it's it's the cab has started to come out and the trailer is still just a little bit on the end kind of teetering. So it looks like they're working to get all parts of the truck out and again, hopefully done within the next hour, hour and a half, according to Apollo Joe. OK, best to avoid the area. As you said, thank you for wow. the update, Maddie. Wow, <laughs> you don't see that very often. Absolutely here. not.